Andy Nilsson, Joseph Kursky, Ali Demirci, and we are gathered at the GI Forum here in Salzburg, Austria. A G the GI Forum is a gathering of geographic information systems using educators from university level, some secondary educators, but the whole goal is to gather and talk about curriculum, professional development, research that's needed to bind this community of worldwide educators together. And we are also gathered because we have just completed a book for Springer called International Perspectives on S Teaching and Learning with GIS in Secondary Schools. And this book is a collection of 33 different chapters, about 33 different countries, where students, teachers, professors, industry people are using geographic information systems in their classrooms. Uh, we focused on the secondary level uh, and we asked the authors of each one of these chapters to write about the structure of education in their country, how uh, their curriculum is arranged, whether they have a national curriculum or a, a decentralized state-based curriculum. We asked the authors to talk about their system of uh, teacher training, uh, where geography and GIS fits into the curriculum, if at all. And um, so the first section of each chapter deals with sort of the context of education in that country. The second section deals specifically with uh, GIS in education in that country. Uh, and we have a wide spectrum of different uh, types of use of GIS in different countries. Some countries have a system where GIS is required by their national curriculum, and in other places uh, it's, it's barely existent, so it's, it's in a very emergent stage. The next section of each chapter deals with a particular case study, so we ask them to talk about either an innovative case or sort of the standard of GIS use in that country. And then at the end we ask them to reflect on, on the prospects uh, and also the challenges ahead in using GIS in education in their schools. We also have a foreword from the father of GIS, considered many by many to be the father of GIS, Roger Tomlinson. So we're thrilled that he wrote the foreword. And we also wrote an introductory chapter and a synthesis chapter that uh, is our vision of, okay, what does this book say about GIS in secondary schools worldwide? What we think it says is that it's not just our stories, but it's stories from all over the world that this is a real community. It has its research base, it has a curricular development focus, it has some real success stories of GIS making a difference in education and in students' lives in terms of their careers, in terms of how they view themselves in education and beyond, how they view themselves as members of their community and their countries and as productive citizens. So it goes beyond the technology.